We have all heard of Borough Green Garden City. Tunbridge and Morling's plan to build 3,000 houses from Dark Hill in the east to the A20 at Nepicar in the west. Here we are moving north under the railway, headed past Selcon's entrance, and this is O'Keefe's drive. O'Keefe own Cricket's Farm and they have a large plant yard behind Cricket's Farm. All these trees will go under the plan and the road continues north. Coming up in front of us is Item Sandpit and we'll turn right by the electricity pylon and head east. This curious curved formation in the centre of the picture is the base of the old Borough Green Bypass that never got built. Just to the right of that is the dip that the Cellcon 2 factory was supposed to have been in. Investigations at that time revealed that there's something like a quarter of a million tonnes of illegally dumped toxic waste under this beautiful piece of English countryside. The hedge line running across the picture is a public right of way. The hedge line to the left of the picture is the northern boundary of the site. The right hand we can just see Fairfield Estate, the southern boundary of the site. This is Robert Body's landfill site and we are just coming over the deepest part of the site where their recycling operations are held at present. Although Robert Body does a terrific job of recycling and, and landfilling, this site has been open since between the wars, so some of the older areas of the site we have no idea whatsoever is underneath. Just to the left, the dark patch of trees, is the woodland wharf of Potter's Mead. The field in front of us is a piece of land with planning permission for an extra football pitch that we will use at Potter's Mead if the houses aren't built. Now back in out of Borough Green Landfill site, you get a much better feel of how deep the hole still remaining is. Over on the left hand side we can see Robert Body's plant yard. And this is the access road down onto the A227 route and road which we're just crossing. This is the horse field between Tulsi Mead on the right hand side and this access road to the water pumping station on the left. Of course this pumping station draws water from our local aquifer with all these landfill sites sitting over the top of it. Coming up in front of us now is Borough Green Sand Pit. Another huge hole still needs to be filled. Again, Roger Body carries out a good modern landfill operation, but this is another site that goes back many decades and we have no idea what was buried there in the early days. Just swinging round now, looking back over the reclaimed land at the railway line and Lingfield Road. Swinging back round, looking at Tulsi Mead and its hall. And then swiftly back to the horse field again. These fields on the left are all part of the development plan, but they are also sterilised by the mineral plan, meaning they've got strategic reserves of sand underneath. Coming up in front of us is Botany Wood an area of woodland that will also be lost. This woodland contains several ponds including the famous fishing pond. In a minute the drone will hover over Botany Wood and will swing round. Looking back down over the site, the fields that are sterilised by the mineral plan, the M26, and now we see the clay pit that used to supply materials to the rugby cement works at Holborough. All this will disappear under housing. These fields are also in the mineral plan and now we see Club's Nepica sandpit. 
over to the right you can just see the sandpit entrance and the A25. This is another humongous hole. As far as we know there hasn't been any serious attempt to landfill this. On the far side of the sandpit you can just see the remains of Nepica Farm which has been bought out by clubs. The fields in front of that are also part of the mineral plan as are the woods to the right um, which will all go if the housing is approved. To the left of the picture in the centre you can just see the back of Nepica House, an office block on Nepica Roundabout. we start to swing down now headed towards what will be the eastern exit from the site onto the A20 at Nepica. If you wonder why this is happening there's 142 hectares of land here at two to three million pounds per hectare. Tunbridge and Morling Council last year took 3.3 million in new homes bonus which is about a fifth of their annual budget so it's very important to them. On the right hand side you can just see the hotel and there's the A20 directly in front of you and the M26 to the left.